Hello, this is Mark Sabatella from Outside Shore Music, home of Mastering MuseScore. In this week's tip, I want to talk about importing and exporting scores from the Music XML format. Now, this is the format that allows notation-based programs like MuseScore uh, to exchange information with other notation-based uh, programs. For instance, Sibelius or Dorico or Finale. Um, Piano Marvel is able to accept Music XML files as well. So, uh, to import a Music XML file, that's actually extremely simple. You just go to File, Open, and if there's a music XML file, you'll see .musicxml or .mxl. Those will be the forms that you can import. And when you import one, uh, like let me go ahead and import this music XML file, we'll see that it's going to look very much like the original. This is the original score. Here's the music XML version. They look virtually identical, right? The, the format is uh, captures a lot of detail in terms of the formatting and the, the spelling of the notes, the exact rhythms, the use of multiple voices. It really captures pretty much everything there is. So now let's talk about how to export your score to Music XML. For that, let's go back to the original version here. Um, I'm going to go to File, Export. And when I do this, there's a dialog that lets you choose the format. We're going to choose music xml as the format and then you'll see file type here it's important to realize that there's there's three choices here it says compressed which is dot mxl there's uncompressed which is dot music xml and there's uncompressed outdated which is dot xml they are all the same format internally I'm going to briefly just tell you what the difference is in case you need to uh, be aware of this. Usually the compressed format is fine, .mxl. It doesn't lose any information. It simply uh, compresses it in a way that uh, other programs, you know, it takes less space on your disk. However, if I uh, go ahead and flip over to that file, what we're going to find out is this is actually a zip file. If I just rename this thing to end in .zip, and then open it up, we'll see that it is just a zip file containing an XML file. That's all it is. All right, so there's nothing really special about that compressed format there. Now, um, if I uh, go back to that folder here, one second to get back to where it was, let's go ahead and open the .music XML format. This is the uncompressed version, so we can see what it looks like. It's It looks like HTML, if people are familiar with that. It's got like angle brackets, and it's got all this stuff going on uh, that talks about the clefs and talks about the notes and the the duration of each note, et cetera, all the information about everything. It's just a text file. You can open it up in a text editor and, and uh, do what you like with it. The .xml, remember this is the outdated format. This is identical. If I open it, it's exactly identical to the music XML file format. The only difference is the actual file name. Once upon a time, it was the case that programs expected music XML files to end dot xml and that's what what they expected this was changed the standard changed uh five to ten years ago so that now programs are supposed to use dot music xml as the file name but some older programs haven't gotten the memo yet and they still need the file to be called dot xml so you could export to dot music xml and then just rename it to dot xml or you can choose that outdated format from the, the menu. It's going to be the exact same file either way. But in most cases, you can just use the compressed format. The only reason to use the uncompressed format really is, well, first of all, if you are using a program that can't handle the compressed, but also if you want to actually look at it, if you want to edit this in a text editor, the uh, uncompressed format lets you do that directly. So that is again how you're going to choose uh, which of these formats compressed works most of the time. If you need to edit, pick uncompressed. If you need to send it to a program that's really old and doesn't know about the newer form, the newer file names, pick the 
pick the outdated format. And then you can also choose whether uh, which which layout information, whether whether system breaks are included so that the uh, so that they're included in the music XML file or not. You can choose that in here. So that is what you need to know about importing and exporting music XML files in MuseScore Studio.